The progressive revolution doesn't stop when the live show ends. Join the home of progressives and become a TYT member today. Click the link below. Saudi Arabia has confirmed that Jamal Khashoggi was actually killed that day in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, according to Saudi State TV. We have some more updates about what they are apparently doing about it. The Saudis have apparently set up a commission that is going to investigate his death, and they have given themselves one month to make a report about it. They have detained 18 Saudi nationals. And they also have an explanation as how the as to how the death actually happened. They are saying that he met with some of these people in the consulate. There was a quarrel and a physical altercation that led to his death. So reading between the lines, they are apparently stating that Jamal picked a fight with this team of 15 Saudi nationals that was dispatched from Saudi Arabia to Istanbul. And it was some sort of coincidental unfortunate death. That happened. This, to me, and this is just the initial reporting, I will admit that, seems ridiculous. The timeline they have given themselves to figure out what happened is insane. But I will make a prediction this feels to me like more than enough cover for Donald Trump to do absolutely nothing about this. Of course, the whole point was to do nothing about it. There was almost never any chance that they were going to. Hold the Saudis accountable. I mean, how many times does Donald Trump say, "Oh, they gave us 110 billion dollars," and then, first of all, of course, it's not true. It's 14 and a half billion. Big surprise that Donald Trump wasn't telling the truth. Pat Robertson said on TV the other day, "What's one person's life compared to all that money?" I'm sure that's the same thing Jesus would have said. <laughs> what a good Christian he is. And and so now Trump's going to go around. That's it. We asked them to for accountability. They arrested a random 18 people who will be scapegoated in Saudi Arabia now. And now their life is in danger. And most of them are probably had nothing to do with this. Or in fact, they're probably enemies of the current leadership. And they're going to use it as an opportunity to probably kill them too. Oh yeah, the crown prince, when he first showed up on the scene as the crown prince, decided to arrest, behead, kill, or exile anybody else who possibly could have been a threat to his power. And so now what he's doing, he's gonna throw under the bus his head of security for mucking all of this up. That, that, that's the accountability that's gonna happen, is the person he relied on to execute this is now the one he's gonna throw under the bus, which sounds very Trumpian to me, right? This is exactly- 100%. Right, this is what Donald Trump would do. You are useful until you're not. There's no sense of loyalty. Um, and as long as you have the business relationship, that will trump anything else. Yeah. No, I, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, it's exactly what Trump would do. He get you to do something stupid, then turn around and yell at you. Oh, duh, well, why did you do such mm-hmm. a stupid thing? Like tell Giuliani to go make ridiculous mm-hmm. defenses that's gonna get him in bigger trouble. Then yell at him afterwards. It's it's his MO, he does it almost every time. And let's talk about who else he praises in the world, right? I mean, what I really think that this is what he's telling us he would like to be. It's not just about the military parade that he saw in North Korea that he wants to see down Pennsylvania Avenue. He likes the idea that the head of the president of the Philippines, Duterte, is able to go out and just kill people by calling them drug like mm-hmm. drug dealers, that's it, you just kill them. He likes the idea that somebody is writing against your you and your rulership, not the country, right? Like Khashoggi was writing great things about what Saudi people are capable of, that if somebody says something against your rule, rogue assassins can come and dismember you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I think this is all signals of the kind of country uh, that Donald Trump would like to see. Yeah. Is there such a thing as a rogue assassin? <laughs> it's the same thing as the person who rolls in with a chainsaw as backup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so let's, and. Let's come back around to the central claim here in this breaking news event. That uh, that there was an uh, altercation that went awry, okay? As if Khashoggi decided that he would take on a group of 15 assassins. And that- While getting a marriage registration documentation produced. Yeah. With that, his fiance waiting outside. Yeah. And that those assassins happened to come armed with a bone saw. But like in case- Just back up, that's that's Yeah, in case mm -hmm. while we're giving a marriage license to this guy, there's an, he decides to try to kill all 15 of us, Mm -hmm. and we decide to kill him in self defense, maybe we should have a bone saw handy to dismember him afterwards. Mm -hmm. This, and this report, (sighs) right, like how much bull is that gonna be? They have a month (laughs) to come up with whatever fancy words they want, Mm -hmm. and it's going, I mean, the investigation didn't even start until they'd already cleaned up all the blood in the place. So this is like, this is classic Washington elite speak. 
let's let's do a working group and get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's get a report and really figure this out. This is, is frustrating for a lot of reasons. I mean, first of all, this is definitely going to lead to despots around the world killing more journalists because we will not respond in any way, we won't do anything. I mean, all the politicians who've been doing great work trying to put pressure on the administration to cut those arms deals. Bernie Sanders calling for pulling out of support for Saudi's war in Yemen. That will not come to pass because Donald Trump has all the power in this. So more journalists will be killed. I mean, he already, he didn't care when Vladimir Putin but was killing dissidents and it's journalists. It's more than and just like the defending freedom of press and expression, right? Which is still something that the rest of the world doesn't do well in general. It's a signal he's sending to everybody of you just do whatever you want in your backyard. You can kill people, you can run things however you want, you can have the Russians invading your country. The United States wants a bit of your money, but that's it. We don't really have any, under, under Trump, we mm -hmm. don't have any broader goals of what the world should look like. And he's in complete denial about the fact that we are interconnected in a global yeah. society. And one of the most frustrating things is, this is ridiculous. The Fox News cover on this is going to be ridiculous. And it is going to be the most convincing thing that has ever been said to Trump supporters. They will eat this up. Yeah, Jamal went in there and he attacked the entire consulate. He went in fist swinging and they I had to kill him with a bone saw. Worse. It's gonna be even worse. It's like, well, he wrote some bad things about his ruler. Sorry, he's a Saudi yeah. citizen. Tough luck, that's what happens Isn't to you. It's amazing though what he has been able to get these supposed concern, like, they, they now think Vladimir Putin is a leader to look up to. Saudi Arabia is awesome. So they simultaneously, <laughs> you, they hate Muslims more than anything in the world. And Saudi Arabia is, that's the place to be. The most that's awesome. fundamentalist Muslim government in the world. Extremist, is, let's yeah. call them that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, and they believe that, yeah, they're awesome. They, 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 they gave passports and they have the nationalities of 11 of the 9-11 hijackers, right? Like mm -hmm. the thing that made America hate the Muslim world, Saudi was indirectly, if not directly responsible for that. Yet, as long as Donald Trump says they're cool and he's got a hotel in Riyadh, everything's good. Yeah. Uh, now a note is going around and we told you this ahead of time. I said, look, Saudi Arabia, it's not just their arms deal, it's not just the oil. They have a, a, an alliance between us, Saudi Arabia and Israel against Iran and the Shia Muslims. Uh, in the region, okay, that alliance is unbreakable. They're gonna cover this up no matter what. In fact, they will soon start attacking Khashoggi. That's what we said when this story happened. Mm -hmm. And not only did they have, they started attacking Khashoggi, as we told you yesterday on the show, guy on CRTV started calling him a radical uh, Islamist. And they're like, remember, Khashoggi's Muslim, what do we care, right? That's basically the essence of it. And all Muslims are terrorists, except Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. which actually does do the terrorism, they're not terrorists. Okay, innocent Muslims who are dismembered and beheaded, they are terrorists. Mm -hmm. And he said he's a terrorist sympathizer, he's against Israel, wink, wink. All that stuff happened now. Today there's a new story about how the House GOP is sending out talking points about how it was Khashoggi's fault mm -hmm. that he had it coming. Okay, right. so you guys are absolutely right. The conclusion of this is twofold. One, we just sent a note to all the dictators and dictator wannabes throughout the world. It's okay, kill anyone you like, as long as we get paid when we don't care at all. And the second note is to the conservatives at home. Muslims are terrible, except the worst, most extreme terrorist funding, fundamentalist Muslims in the world, they're awesome. The ones that just beheaded someone. Remember what you said about ISIS and all the reasons you hate Muslims? They do beheadings. They just beheaded Khashoggi. They cut his fingers, likely when he was alive. And now you're applauding it because your dear orange leader told you to. That's about the saddest thing I've ever seen. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.